As I'm updating my workstation, I thought this might be a good chance to cover building a PC in Japan. Welcome to Inside Japan. When picking PC parts, you can go with the major retailers like Yodobashi, Kojima, or Bic Camera. Or you could choose to order online with Amazon.jp. If your language skills are up for it, Kakaku.com is an aggregator comparing prices across all sellers, which will help you find the absolute lowest prices. In general, you should expect to pay 10-20% to more than you would in the States even though you should be able to find some competitively priced products. Importing parts from the US could save you some cash, but it could cause you some shipping headaches if you somehow get a bad part and need to return it. Amazon.com does ship some items to Japan and includes estimated custom fees on certain items. I'm a bit wary of buying larger ticket items as a few years ago, I ordered a new pair of dress shoes and was shocked when the delivery man hit me with a $100 customs bill upon delivery. So it hopefully won't be an issue, but it is worth keeping in mind. When buying PC parts in Japan, you may not always receive user documentation in English, but this should be a non-issue since you should be able to find the documentation and newest drivers on the manufacturer's website. I personally use PCPartsPicker.com to check for compatibility of the parts and total system power usage that will help you when you pick the power supply. You may be able to find some deals on used parts from either Hardoff or Dospara, but in my experience with the limited markdown, new is probably the better choice, but it is worth a look. And that covers the main points you'll need to know when building a new rig in Japan. If you'd like to see my video walking through all the steps of the process, make sure to click on the video on the left. As always, thanks for watching. This has been Inside Japan.